Hey guys, we are finishing up the Dead Ghost Location Guide here on Mars. There are 18 Dead Ghosts here, six of which you have to get in mission. And uh, I'll be sure and point those out to you, so don't worry about that. But uh, here we go, let's finish this out. Starting off in the Exclusion Zone, there are five Dead Ghosts to find in this mission. So we're going to start right here at the spawn point. Head straight across the desert. And I know I'm on the Sparrow bike thing, but... Um, you can just, you know, you can make the walk. The trek's not that bad. So, right over here on the side of the, uh, the starting area, whatever it's called, I can't remember now. Anyway, there's a big old battle going on with a trench fort thing down here below. Hop on down, make your way over to the building, and on the left side, sitting on some boxes, will be your dead ghost that I had already picked up. So the second dead ghost, we're going to head again across the desert here. We're actually headed basically to the same area. And then we'll go past that, but you know, we're heading the same direction. So you can see there's the big battle with the building and trench we were just at. We're going to follow the path back along here to the Scablands. You'll notice this giant wall, gate, contraption going on here. Normally there's a lot of enemies over here, but uh, there's a guy over here, I guess, going through a mission who helped clean them out for me. So, thanks buddy. So make your way into the gate, just to the right side. Over on the base of the wall here, you'll find your second dead ghost. You know, just hanging out. So the third ghost can be found in Giant's Pass. To get there from the starting area of the Scablands, make your way over to the far end of the wall and follow the path along here. And of course, if you're in mission, this will take you straight through. Um, just follow the objectives. So there's a bunch of enemies to take out here. Go ahead and do your dance with them. And then once you finished up, you may notice this lonesome tree up here. And that's where we're headed. So I try to be cool and just run up here and failed. So uh, be sure you double jump. And then right here at the base of the tree, kind of tucked uh, under a root, is your dead ghost. So number four, we're going to continue right out of here. And we're going to head to the Valley of the Kings. To get there, just hop over the ledge. Pull off a sweet jump here. And follow the path around. Doesn't take too long. And then from the entrance here, we're going to head straight across. You'll come to a three-way fork. Just take the middle path. Follow it around. You should be on the right side of the, uh, the giant gate there. You can see the dead ghost over here on the rocks. Watch out for snipers, they kind of screwed me up in this area. But once you're clear, grab your ghost. And the final ghost for this mission, for this set, can be found over here by the final objective for the mission. So, you're going to have to fight through some guys. Going to be kind of a pain, and they do respawn pretty quickly. You can see them over there coming out now. Uh, they, they do respawn really quick. You'll see them here in just a second. I just cleared them out and they're already coming back. So you're going to have to kind of deal with them or ignore them as best you can. They may get in the way a bit for you. So just make your way up here as if you were going to complete the objective. But instead, jump up on top of the building... Look behind you, climb up on the rocks, and in this shady little alcove down here, you'll find the dead ghost. Keep an eye out on the place. Alright, so next is the Garden Spire mission. This is one that you have to be in mission to get some of these. Not all of them, but uh, definitely the last two you're going to want to be in mission. <clears throat> excuse me, in mission to get. 
So this very first one, we're going to make our way back to the Scablands. Fight your way through all the bad guys. Continue along the path here on the right. Until you reach Firebase Rubicon. Now this area is going to be packed with bad guys, so... Be prepared for a long fight. Unless you're high level, in which case you just breeze through this area. So follow the base around till you come to this little gate. Jump up on top, stick to the left hand side. Oh, couple bad guys. So just follow along the left side. And you may notice this little spotlight over here. That's our, uh, that's our reference point. We are directly across the way from this uh, giant entrance. The mission objective will be down there. So head behind this spotlight and you'll find a secret little paradise back here with another lonesome tree and a dead ghost. So continuing out from that same cave, we're going to head straight across into the giant tunnel. This will take you to the Rubicon Wastes. Now this area can be kind of tricky if you're following the mission. So uh, if you want, I recommend just skipping past everyone in here. Just grab your sparrow and uh, actually make a right right there where I kind of slowed down. Should have made a right there to skip these guys, but uh, you know, kind of got lost. It happens. However you get there, make sure you head to this tunnel, follow it all the way through till you get to this lovely room with the god-awful lens flare. So this is the iron, iron line, I think, is what it's called. You may recognize this from the golden chest video if you happen to watch that. And we're going to take kind of a similar path. Hop up onto these pipes on the left side, up here onto the balcony. Now the golden chest is straight across, but instead we're going to make a right. Jumping over to the, uh, we're going to make our way up there. But you can see there's a little, uh, little platform to land on. This took me quite a few tries, so. Especially this jump here, you have to jump out and then pull yourself back in to land on the platform. Kind of a tricky jump, but once you do it, you're rewarded with a new dead ghost. So continuing on from the room J.J. Abrams built, I'm going to make a left and head out. This, uh, If you're following the mission, which you should be, this uh, is going to kind of go against the mission objective. So don't worry, you're, head you're supposed to head away from the objective. You'll make your way out to the trench works. And there are a lot of bad guys. I highly recommend you take them out. I, uh, I was kind of tired of taking out the bad guys, so I just tried to ignore them. Didn't help that I was running right into the sun, so sorry about that. Just stick to the right-hand wall till you get to uh, this little jump here. Jump on up, and you can see the dead ghost hanging out back here. Just for reference, there's the building with all the bad guys about to shoot me. But that doesn't matter now, because we've got our ghost. And I managed to land the trophy at this point. So, back into the Star Trek room. This is following the mission objective. This is the only way to open the gate. And this is why you need to uh, be in mission. So open the gate, follow the pathway along until you reach the Legion's Keep here. And now, normally, you'd have to fight your way across this bridge. Just like he said. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of this idea. So, if you want to be a little sneaky, and a little adventurous, jump up onto these boxes, double jump, and you'll just make it on top of the bridge. And from there, all the enemies are going to go flying past you. So, just ignore them, carry on. Alright, so heading over to this area, there are a lot of bad guys again. So, I kind of ignored them. Here's this giant spire in the middle, just run right underneath it. Dead ghost is hanging out right there. Not too hard to find. And that is the last ghost for this mission. So on to the next one, the Buried City. Starting in the Barrens. I remembered the name now. 
So anyway, just follow this path along, or if you're in the mission, just follow the mission. It'll take you through a similar area. Or a similar path. So clear out this building. This it's the only dome-shaped building in the area, so should be pretty easy to find. And you're going to want to do this very quickly because the enemies spawn, uh, respawn here frequently. So jump up onto the light and then jump up to this little balcony overhang thing and up here will be your dead ghost. Alright, so continuing on the mission, it'll eventually tell you to enter the skyscraper or you can just enter to the side of the same dome building we were just at. Either way, same place. You do not need to be in a mission to get to this one, so it's it's really up to you. Make your way through the dust palace until you reach this room here. Clear out all the enemies, head up the stairs and make a left. Follow the stairs all the way up. And then we're going to have to do some uh, tricky jumping here. Kind of. Not really. It's not that tricky, but, you know. Can be. So jump up onto this box, and then over to the... Uh, thing. I don't know what this is. The rafters, I guess? I'll go with rafters. That sounds good. So just hop your way along here until you reach your dead ghost. It's... Really, it's pretty simple. And the final dead ghost here can be found in the very final room. Uh, you'll see this giant red wall with stars. Head to the left, and you'll notice these desks. Behind the desk, or under the desk, is the final dead ghost. So, continuing on to the mission of Rising Tide. Again, starting in the Barrens from the spawn point. We're going to make our way back, actually through the hollows this area here and then through the next one the buried city and then finally through the last area the drift so we'll be backtracking here in just a minute but this is the scene you want to uh, stop at and you'll notice again some lonesome trees so just jump over here it took me a couple tries but just jump up into the tree, and sitting on the top branch is your ghost. With a very pretty backdrop. God, this game is so pretty. I can't help it, it's just a gorgeous game. Alright, so anyway, continuing on from this tree. Sweet jump down to the sand. Make your way back to the buried city. We're going to reach this uh, this train station looking area here. And this giant billboard is where we're aiming to go. We're going to climb on top of it. It's not too difficult. Just jump up on this little half wall. Then double jump up to the roof. That easy. Alright, so dead ghost number 15 will be found, uh, it'll be inside. You gotta go inside, uh, I guess you're not going all the way to Tharsis Junction, but, uh, what is this place called? Uh, Freehold Station, I think? Something like that, where, well, it'll pop up here in a minute. Anyway, just make your way on through. There are quite a few tough enemies to fight on your way in, so be prepared for that. Luckily, I had some random people take them out for me. So, through the darkness here, make your way on through the hallways, and you'll come around this corner and it'll, uh, freehold station. I was right. So when you walk through this door here, hug the right wall. It's very dark, so it's kind of hard to explain where to go, but just hug the right wall until you see this black, dark greenish. It's dark green to me. Uh, you'll see these two pillars that look very similar kind of facing each other with TVs. So from the angle you walked in on, you should also see a little ledge to jump up to. 
And you'll notice, oh, if I stand back on there, you'll notice one pillar does not have pipes, the other one does. So jump up onto the pillar with no pipes, jump onto the TV, and hopefully you'll have a dead ghost, but this one can be a bit glitchy as it was for me, so it's not a big deal if it's not there. So the final dead ghost in this mission is all the way in Tharsis Junction. Go ahead and clear out all the enemies. We're going to head straight in from the entrance over both trains. And you'll see giant number two. You may recognize this area. There's a golden chest nearby. There's also one of those Stargate looking things over here. I say Stargate looking things. I don't really know what a Stargate looks like. I'm just I'm guessing. I'm trying to be cool, man. Anyway, make your way around to the right, and you'll find your dead ghost hanging out. Alright, and these last two dead ghosts can only be found in the mission The Black Garden. The reason you have to be in mission is because you are entering the Black Garden. So yeah, immediately inside the portal. This very first room is going to have the dead ghost up on top of that statue. Now this path is kind of dark. Um, hopefully it doesn't turn out that way. But uh, it, it may be kind of hard to see. I do apologize. But just jump up on the right side. Make your way up onto the, the uh, stone ledges up here. And then from here the path should be pretty straightforward. Just jump across. And at this point you should see the dead ghost. So just hop over to it. Alright, and the final dead ghost. The last one of all of them. Number 62, I think, is the number. Anyway, you'll come to this area that's the first time you see the Black Garden. Or the Black Garden Heart area. You'll notice all these bad guys. We can just ignore them. We're going to hang on the left side of the area. Uh, right here on the edge. Drop down to this little rocky area. And the dead ghost will be hiding around the corner. Again, with a beautiful scenic view behind it. So as always, questions, comments, concerns, feel free to let me know. I hope this guide has helped you, and I hope you at least enjoyed it. I tried to make it entertaining. I'm not very entertaining, but I try. So uh, feel free to use any of the links to uh, navigate. Playlist has the Golden Chest and all the Dead Ghost location videos. Please check that out. And if you enjoyed it, please subscribe. Um, help me. Help me out. You know, help me keep doing what I love to do. And as always, guys, peace out.